It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Uh, Schultz is off today, but Big Wax is here. Yeah. Doodoo Herm. I don't know nothing. And today's episode of Brilliant Idiots is sponsored to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the motherfucking show. Uh, this week is uh, Hezzy, Hezzy Nuptials Week. Early. Yeah, Schultz is getting married this weekend um, in California. I'm excited for him, man. I'm excited, man. You got a suit? Uh, I I'm I didn't get a whole suit, but I'm, I got to get dressed up. You know, Shorty is going, so. Who is Shorty? My, my, my fiance. She's, oh, your fiance. So I'll be okay. the next one getting married. And, um, you know, she's trying to make sure I look presentable. I'm like, I ain't been looking presentable all these years. No. You oh, okay. I mean, you look presentable for wax. For what, that, that's for what, what I'm what telling you her. Yeah, 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 yeah. For Come what on. you present. For what you present. But you at a different stage in your life right now. I man. understand you, that. You old. You know what I'm saying? I take it. You a businessman. You God know what blessings. I mean? You yeah. know, so you got to present differently, especially at a wedding. You can't wear the baggy suit with the Tims. I ain't like you really did back. Way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't do that. But can you tell them what happened? Like I, I got my suit that day. They couldn't Looking tell him me. <laughs> How you gonna try to go get a suit on a Sunday in Columbia, South Carolina? But they couldn't tailor him. They couldn't tailor me. Yeah, that's exactly how you wanted that suit. Baggy, 90. <laughs> Yo, it was, really, it was really out of control. It was really Steve Harvey. I had the Tim's on. It went, everybody was betting to see if I had Tim's or what. They was betting. They were gonna say, "What is Wax not gonna wear? His hat or his Tim's?" <laughs> This motherfucker wore both. And they was betting whether he would wear a suit. So I don't know who won that bet. Because they was betting what he wouldn't wear. <laughs> he wore, every, they, they bet he wouldn't wear a suit. He wore the baggy ass suit. Okay. They bet he wouldn't wear a hat. He wore a hat. They bet he wouldn't wear Tim's. He wore Tim's. So when you say you got something of a suit, what do you mean? I got the dress pants and I got the shirt. Like what kind of shirt? Like a button up? A button up shirt. Yeah, she she. You was trying on turtlenecks yesterday. No, You're and, a liar. And, and, no, and I'm gonna tell you the and you truth. You act like I couldn't hear. I tried. No, to, I you thought, thought you hear everything. You thought I, I didn't hear. He Listen. in there talking. He in there was like, y'all like the way the turtleneck. Fit. No, I did not. He did. No, I didn't. <laughs> he told Ty. Carla, <laughs> Carla bought me a turtleneck, and I'm like, man, get the fuck out. I ain't putting that shit on. That I look is stupid not what as he hell. said. He told Ty. He was like, y'all like the way the turtleneck feel. No. And Ty was like, you look good in it. It's your shoulders. And Ty was like, you should get a bigger size though. Ty was like, you can't wear a medium turtleneck. And he was like, why? No, a large, a large turtleneck. And he was like. Why? Your man's lying. I tell you, I try to put the turtle. When I did this with the turtleneck, it looks stupid as hell. Like everybody don't have. I got a little extra. Why would you neck. try to tuck your dreads in the turtleneck? It looks stupid. To, That's what I'm saying. Tuck, no, he, you're not supposed to do that. He tried to tuck his dreads in the turtle, <laughs> the turtleneck part yeah, of the sweater. I don't know how you to don't do that. I ain't wear turtlenecks in mad long since I had my dreads. You so see how I'm you wearing wear. this hoodie? The way he wearing his hoodie right now, he took the dreads and put them in the turtleneck. So the dreads is all around the neck like this. He look crazy as hell. No way. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing the turtleneck. I'm so wearing, you got a button up. I got the button up. I got chilling. You know, black black pants, black shoes. You cool. You cool. I can't wait to go see <laughs> Schultz get married. And and, yes. and it's like a, uh, I let him talk about his wedding. I let Schultz definitely talk about it. Definitely a celebration, man. We know, a celebration, you know, we've been man. on shows for years. He's been on the road. We be. We chill. He been on the road, so I mean, I think he's tired. He's tired. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm not missing nothing either. You know, people be like, "Oh, actually, you about to get married and stuff," and like, "Oh, you about to settle down." I'm like, I kind of did it. Now nah, you gotta get married. Listen, Schultz. If you look at Schultz's life, right, it's it's two things that I saw, three things that I saw Schultz make a significant change on, that has caused his the trajectory of his life to just to go up. He got engaged. Blessing. He found a good woman. Well, no. First of all, he found God. Mm -hmm. Shows didn't believe in God at one point. I've I seen him get beat up before, so he had to go straight to God after that. Shows got beat up? Yeah, Shows got beat up. Who beat up Shows? Yeah. Got beat up, and I seen it. And Andrew Shows? Andrew Shows got beat up. By a guy, girl. It's a guy. Huh? Yeah, this guy is supposed to be able to beat him up, though. He's a bigger guy. When did I miss this, man? Yeah, you didn't realize it. Just, <laughs> so after, so really, after he got beat up, I seen him like go to God and stuff. I'm like, oh, wow, look at Andrew growing. That's great. I'm telling you. I remember when he went to God. That's number one. Then he found a good woman, right? And they say in the Blessings. Bible, he who finds a wife finds a, a great thing. A great thing, mm -hmm. right? And then he took his career in his own hands. 
And it's like, yo, once you take, once, once, once you give it to God, and then you say, you know what, I'm gonna start moving the way you want me to move, God. I'm gonna start trusting you and trusting your instincts. You don't lose. Don't and lose. That's been Probably his life ever since. Yeah. I, I tell people all the time, the way the re, the way my life went up, up, up is number one. I've always had a, a super faith in God. Mm-hmm. Number two, doing right by my wife. Like when Celie point that finger and Celie say, "Ain't no good gonna come to you till you do right by me." What about porn? What do you mean? What about porn? Is that doing right right by her or what? Depends. Depends. Do you do you lust for porn more than you do her? No. Do you sneak away to watch porn sometimes, and not let her know? Y'all don't watch it together. No. Watch it with her. I know. Damn. It's just bro. sometimes. No, no. It's just Damn, sometimes you bro. need that alone time for your porn. You That's, know what I'm saying? What if you go? What if she go to your Pornhub search? She already what saying if, all that. She, she played me out. She laughed what if at none me. Of my, what if none of the Pornhub searches are what she, what she is? No, no. If it is, if if I see any curly haired girl in my phone. I'm in trouble. Wow. Nobody, anybody curly oh, around going me. You in and type in curly head girl? I did before just to see. I just go to every, almost everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably put in everything you could put in. You know what I'm saying? Because after you put something in, it's like a whole line of things that's like suggested around it. You know what I'm saying? So if it'd be like curly hair girls, like curly hair girl Asians, curly hair girl, um, I'm not uh, street walking, you. curly hair girls. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to judge you. I've done that before. I've, yeah. typed, in, I've typed in natural hair. <laughs> I've typed, typed in natural hair. I like Gary. I like I like natural hair. Like the, just when it's big and bushy, I like natural hair. So yeah, I've typed. I've definitely typed. Yeah, that, you gotta I've see what's that going on. But you, you say natural hair is gonna have a big bush yeah. down here. No, it actually, it actually, no, it actually was a natural hair girl. It was only one video that that shit was dope. Yeah, I watched that whole shit. That shit was like, like I can't watch the whole. I can't. Watch no, no, the whole it depends thing. how long it is. I can't do like 20, 30 minutes. No, That's no, stupid. you out of your fucking control. Like, What's wrong with you? You're five a maniac. To six minutes, man. That's it. That's kind of long, too. I, I, I look for the two minute ones. I go to the end. Okay. I watch the beginning, unless it's too much. I used to like the storytelling and all that. I love it. I love the storytelling. Eh. But I like the storytelling. It's like, oh, like she came in, she just tripped on it. He was naked under, under, under somewhere. Oh, you know pussy. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? He just oh, walked in. Oh, that your dick I fell on? Yeah, something fast. So he walk in, he, he the maintenance man, and she's in the shower. Like, I know <laughs> soon it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? We don't need a, we outside and all that type of shit. That storyline is too much. But I don't know how we went from God, our fiancés, and I was going to say therapy is the third thing. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I was interrupted by the devil just now. You know what I mean? You see how the devil do? You just be having rant. You be having No, good I would just want to make sure that's not cheating on her. Yeah, you got to ask her. I, I want I want to get right. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm climbing to it. I'm growing to it. And I'm like, I, I'm i doing all the proper steps. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get married. You know what I'm saying? I'm not cheating. When, when is doing... the wedding? You, your, your clock is ticking. Schultz, Schultz on deck this weekend. Sean clock Schultz is, is ticking on deck. for you, Herman. It is. What you waiting on? It's her. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I did my part. I did my part. I gave the ring and I shut up. If she right now, if I come home, she said, put this on, we get married today. I gotta shut the fuck up and do it because I did my part. Are you ready? What you mean am I ready? What the I'm asking, are you ready? We got God gave us hands and porn. So what the fuck else what? I need to be ready for? I could jerk off and I got porn. I don't need nothing else. And I got Carla. Why is she third? <laughs> Your hands, porn, and then call her? Hey, I just My said God. it like that. I just yeah, said that's it like exactly that. how you said it. <laughs> like, damn, like you should be like, yo, I got a good woman. I got a good woman. I don't need nobody else. You're right. That's it, man. I'm telling you, when you, I promise y'all brothers out there, listen to me, man. Listen to your old washed uncle, Charlemagne, brother Lenard. When you commit to one woman mm-hmm. and you give your all to, your, to that one woman and you give all your energy to that one woman and you do right by that one woman, I promise you the trajectory of your life will change in ways you can't even imagine. I am a testimony. What if she's cheating on you? Well, guess what? What do I always say? God not going to judge me based off how people treat me. He's going to judge me based off how I treat people. I did what I was supposed to do, and I've been doing it right. So, you know, if, if if she fucks that blessing up, she fucks that blessing up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm the blessing. You feel like you feel like you're getting cheated on? Nah, I don't think I'm getting cheated on. It's just like, you know, I don't know. I just never know. I'm always gone. I'm mean, always on the road. Whoa, no, no, no. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Carl is cheating on me. I don't think Carl is cheating on me. It's no, just like, who else would be cheating on you? I know. I've been waiting for you to have feelings. What you mean? I've been waiting for a girl to get her hands around your soul but and why? make you feel what you've been making women feel forever. That's right. So, so nope. hold on. So, so when you gone, when I'm gone, yeah, shit hurts, man. Ooh. 
I want to come home. I don't want to be out no more. Well, you be like, we going to fly back home. I'm like, yes. And you know what I love about Carla? Carla be on the move. So when Carla's places, she ain't going nowhere. Carla be out. Where's she going? I just seen Carla on the gram in Puerto Rico or somewhere. Yeah, she going out there to see her family. But I, that hurts me, too. When yeah, I'm not with it, the family, it really, really hurts. So Are you concerned about Poppy in Puerto Rico? You concerned it may be one? Huh? I don't think it's Poppy. Huh? There's it's, it's a, it's a lot of Franks out there. A lot of Franks? Franks. Francisco? What do you call them in Puerto Rico? I don't know. Francis? Francisco? Frankies. Frankies. <laughs> Too many Frankies Hold out on, there. So you really worry about your girl? No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about her nah, cheating nah, on me. Nah, it's nah, just. I, I think. Do. I think anybody who be on the road as much as I do, you know, what I'm saying you got to just be there because a lot of times, a lot of dudes actually be there enough, and still, I was the one guy cheating. They, they was cheating with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, this guy been taking care of you, holding you down, always there, family pictures, and like you living a great life. And what the fuck are you doing over here with me back in the day? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm gone. She have a reason to do that. Yeah. So you think. I just hope you get cheated on just once. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why. I think you need to feel that. I don't. You know what? I don't think I'll feel it Maybe so not hard. Cheat. Like she don't need to go all the way. I don't want her to. But cheat. Just a little bit. No, I don't want her to cheat. I don't want her to do just nothing. Just a little bit. No. Just eyes for another person. No, just a bit. no, no. Because I run, I hide because I seen how what eyes do. Back in the day, I'm so fucked up because I seen me googly eyes a girl back in the day, mm -hmm. and then it turned into something else. So if I see her, even I, I, I'm like. Yeah, what is that all that about? I'm ready to run already. Is Herman afraid of his own karma? Is Herman afraid that he's done so much dirt in the woman department that, you know, that dirt is going to come back to him? I don't, I, don't, I don't, real shit, I don't think I did really dirt because anybody who dealt with me knew exactly what they was dealing with. They Herm, knew they, they come in. That's not an excuse, Herm. That is. No, it's not. It is because, you know, if I lied to a girl and made her feel like, yo, I wasn't doing nothing with nobody else, I deserve every karma I get. You know what I'm saying? So, so you think telling the truth. Telling the truth. Is, okay, so if Carla come and tell me the truth, I'm down. That, and that's what ha needs to happen. All right, she comes. Just a little googly eyes, Carla. Trust me on this. Just a little googly eyes for somebody else, even if the person don't exist. Just make it seem like they. Exist. But I'm gonna leave for no reason. No, you're then. not. You're not. She gonna come to you and tell you the truth, and you gotta practice what you preach. Listen, I understand that, but these women should have left me. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Just Google something on Pornhub. Google curly head. Boy, <laughs> why just, boy? Just let her open up the porn, just let Wax open up the Pornhub search. Like the fuck you searching curly head boy for? Nah, see, I don't, I don't, I don't mind for stuff like that. I kind of let her live her life because I would never tell somebody. Oh, I see you do this because you will change up, you change this tactic. I want to see exactly who you are. Let me see how far you oh, actually go say. through it. Yeah, they say let uh let people do what they want so you can see what they would rather do. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I stay out your way. Oh, that's who you are. Now, if you dig the grave so much into where now. You need my help to get out of it. Nah, I've been seeing this. Now I'm gonna tell you why I can't help you. But I'm not gonna stop you for what you really, really want to do. I think that you might be afraid of your own karma. But and yeah, I think that I am. you need to really like. You couldn't even begin to confess all your sins uh, when it comes to women. No, no, I do. Carla. I do because you I'm, told her the whole whole facts. You told her everything. Nah, Carla kind of know because Carla was helping me out sometimes. And she don't, don't even realize it. Carla, the flight to LA is long. Let's chat. No. <laughs> We got all weekend up there. I, I think I can catch you up on all wax and shit in the weekend. Nah, it's, it's not like that. Again, like I said, Carla knows that I wasn't an angel out here, but I always let people know exactly who I always been. You're a liar. Who, who I lied to. Here's the problem, right? Even though you may tell the truth, you do too much. You the nigga that do too much. You pray it, with the girl. That's what I'm saying. You have the mom praying with the girl. If we had sex you do too much, back then you in the day, why girls like you. you know why we, we right after we had sex, we, yo, you got to pray. You gotta pray with me before we, um, cause we both just sinned. Praying with mama, man? No, we're not praying with mom naked. But you, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't praying with mama. No, but you right had to pray said, with mama, man. Listen, they had problems and they didn't pray. Go with my that's mama and pray with her. That's leading the woman on? No. You're wildin'. You know how I many people that still can pray with my mom? Anybody Your need mom to pray with mama? Your warrior, but yes. you can't sleep with a woman. Act like you like her. I don't act like I like her. Wax. They, they have sex with me. I wasn't I having sex with them. sing the girls. You say, yo, don't do this, Carla. He's lying. I told her I never talked to nobody in my life before. <laughs> don't ever tell this. Who? When? Where? I'm not saying who. Wax get a drum set in front of him. <laughs> Wax get a drum set in front of him. Wax be coming up with words. Love. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I love. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, you. Ba -bum, no ba -bum. way. That boy is wild. You hear me? <laughs> I never sung to nobody, Carla. Only you, baby. Why would you tell that lie? I don't remember this. Where was he at? I don't remember either. I just seen it before. But I don't want to tell I don't want to tell stories. But here's the thing. 
um, you can't have a girl, you can't have your mom praying for her and, and, and you know, act like you don't like her after the fact. I never, Women get used to that, man. I never liked it, the girls. I think they like, only reason why I dealt with them because they like me. Like, I, I had never had control over, if I if I really liked the girl, I would go after these big girls, like these movie stars, everybody, the girls everybody else like. I never, I didn't know none of these, I just liked, they, I smashed them because they like me. I never went after none of these girls. I, did, I went, went after them. If it was my choice, mm -hmm. I would go after somebody that probably all like or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never That's true. went after a girl that I actually really liked. That's why he's so nasty. That's true. I, I was just, I've I seen was, you do a lot of favors. I was doing favors back no, in the I've day. Seen you do some favors. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you, I've really seen you do some favors. For you. It ain't no for me. Yes, it is. That's a lie. You, you I'll do a lot a of favors for you. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Don't blame that on me. You like big women, you like no, big women? No, it's not that. Show us that point up, sir. Nope. It's not. It's Show not. us big it's girls. Not, it's not no big Let girls see, in there. Let me see your point up, sir. I don't even know. I race everything because Carla watch everything. You're a liar. Listen, man, let's talk a little basketball. Steph Curry, man. You're the man. Steph Curry is the leader of the we Bay can give Brigade. It to him. We can give it to him. Is there, is, is, has there ever been a light skinned person that we as, as melanated men have rallied around like Steph Curry? I can't think of one, bro. Mm. Not because we, we all maybe? give it to him. We all, yeah, yo, when T.I. came with trap music, we had to give it to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drake, Drake get, you know what I'm saying? I respect Drake for what for he's sure. done. I'm not like the biggest Drake fan, you know what Same. I mean? I respect Same. him for what he's done. Same. I, I respect his place in the Beige Brigade, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's up there, too. He's sure. number two. He's number two. Then T.I., you going to give T.I. number three? T.I. 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 definitely top five. T.I. Yeah, definitely top. What about the slow, so glow guy that was in? Um, nah, he ain't light skin. No, he wasn't light skin. Daryl? Daryl. Nah, nah, nah. That nah. wasn't light skin. A Jerry Curl had everybody nah, going crazy. Nah, nah, nah. But <laughs> Steph, Steph, man, Steph Curry has revolutionized the game of basketball. No, he and I saw Stephen A. this week. Stephen A. was on first take talking Jeez. about how you know Steph Curry could possibly you know pass LeBron as far as being the player of this generation. Last year during COVID on The Breakfast Club, I asked Stephen A. that very question. What he say? And he, he said definitively, he was like, he respects Steph Curry and everything, but he said definitively, this is the LeBron James era. But LeBron definitely had his time in his era, so it's time to bring it on. Steph's definitely younger than LeBron. Steph Curry has beaten LeBron James three times in the NBA. Yeah, he got it. Now, don't get me wrong, when LeBron James came back, you know, down seven games against that 73 win team. That's one of the, the greatest, if not the greatest. That's why I say you, that's why you got to give it witnessed. to him. But Steph Curry still beat him three times in the finals. Because you know, you know what? Jordan had his era. It was a Jordan era. This is the LeBron Steph era. That, but, but, it's, but, you, but no, it's not just that. It's the LeBron era. It's the Steph era. It's the KD era. It's a lot of people that ate in LeBron's so called era. Dirk Nowitzki ate, you know what I mean? Mm. There's a lot of different people. And I'm not saying that LeBron, clearly LeBron is, you know, yeah, one of the ghosts sure. of this era. But it's for a sure. lot of other people who ate within this era as well. Now, what LeBron is head and shoulders above everybody else in is business acumen and marketing and promotion. People love sure. LeBron. There's not he, a better storyline. NBA. There hasn't been a better storyline in the <sighs> NBA than LeBron James. You yes. know what I mean? From him coming into the league as the chosen one, over exceeding expectations. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Coming back and winning the chip for his actual city. Before that, leaving Cleveland to go to Miami with the decision. Uh -huh. Then going to Miami and, you know, teaming up with the big three, which also changed the league because then everybody Start felt cool to do that. Now you don't um, think Boston did it first with KG and Allen and Paris? Yeah, they did. They did. They cheated first. They were the first cheaters, bro. They did, but it was just uh, it was different about I don't think at that time, and I could be wrong. Correct me. I don't think at that time, uh, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and KG were they top? Were all were all three of them in the top ten players? In top the league? shooter. Top I mean, Ray shooter. Allen was a top shooter. Mm -hmm. One of the best shooters. Pierce ever. was definitely slept he was one on. Of the top ten in the league. And at KG. The time. I'm saying KG and Paul might have been up there, but I don't know if Ray Allen was considered top ten. That in the was league. that piece that you needed. That was, that was the Steve Kerr, the Jordan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I mean, they, what you I mean needed. They, they were a big three. They definitely were, but it was just something. I mean, at the time when they was, well, maybe not. I don't know if Chris Bosh was considered top 10. He wasn't. Definitely not over no KG. Bosh was a beast, though. 
Bosh was a beast. Bosh was a beast. When, when, Bosh before was he cut beast. his hair, he was a really monster. Was you know beast. what I'm saying? He then he came over there and played his part. It's all about really playing your part when you got a yeah. team. You uh, know uh, what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just saying that, that added to the storyline, the Miami Heat thing. Then going back to Cleveland, like you said, to win the championship. Then, you know, winning the championship, staying in Cleveland a couple more years, then going to L.A. now, winning the chip there. Like, there's an, and even now, like, we're right now, LeBron James, even though the Lakers are losing, that's still a storyline. It is. You know what I'm saying? That's something for people to talk about all the time because, you know, we live in this era that loves trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm AD saying? AD should have been stepping it up. I, 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 I'm, I'm not going to can't just blame it on one man, but, bro, you're supposed to be the man <laughs> right now. This He got an injury or something? I don't know. It's supposed to be his team. Like he, the Lakers supposed to be on Anthony Davis back, and everybody around him is supposed to be complimentary. LeBron supposed to be complimentary at this exactly. point. Exactly. Um, you know, Russell Westbrook should be complimentary at this point. Yes. You know, Melo definitely complimentary, complimentary at this point. Bro. But it's just like AD should be dominating. Be the steak, nigga. But he's not. You know what I'm saying. But I'm saying all that. We had mashed potatoes and shit. What? <laughs> AD mashed potatoes right now. He's supposed to be the steak. I don't even know if he mashed potatoes. Damn. To be honest. Broccoli. I really do. I get what you're saying. He ain't there. He ain't there. He ain't, he ain't showing up like he supposed to. Ah, at least you know broccoli. You know what I'm saying? He ain't showing up like he supposed to. But nah. LeBron is, a, is 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 marketed amazingly. He's promoted amazingly. Yes. He has the best storyline in the NBA. Sun over coming all up, doing years. good. Sun, sun. That's another storyline. But man, I'm talking about when it comes to basketball. To me, when it comes to things I've never seen before. And I'm 43 years old, so you know I've seen Jordan, I've seen the Shaqs, I've seen the Kobe's. God Magic. bless the dead. Seen Magic. I ain't really seen Magic. Man, towards the end, I did towards the end when because I remember when him and Jordan played in the finals together. Uh -huh. Remember when he you know came back in the All Star game after catching HIV and all that stuff like that. But Steph Curry, I've never seen anything like him. No, you're right. Ever. And two back to back MVPs, three NBA Finals, beat LeBron three times in the NBA Finals. Greatest shooter of all time. Just broke the three-point record. Probably going to win another yeah. championship this year. I say he probably wins a couple more before he retires. This guy, man, leader of the Beige Brigade. Yeah, it's, it's Ray Allen. Uh, what's his name? Reggie Miller. Like, I, I used to be, like, Seen scared. All yeah, I used to be scared when I see Reggie Miller. I'm like, he's going to make it. But the confidence that I have about Steph right now. It's stupid. It's unbelievable. It's stupid. It's, I, I, you know what I wish? You know what I wish we could have a count of? I wish we could see how many times. From the very first time. Remember, his daddy's Dale Curry. Yes. Legendary sharpshooter himself mm -hmm. in the NBA. Charlotte Hornets all day. So I, I want to know how many jump shots has Steph Curry taken in his life. Before. Millions. When he was a kid. I'm talking about even with the little Nerf ball. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When daddy was like, I want to know how many times has he just shot a shot. Because it's just such a rhythm that... You can only get when your daddy is one of uh, one of the greatest. Well, that's what you're doing. Ever. That's all you do. That's all he does, man. And it makes me even think about like, what's that next generation going to be like? The fact he named his son Cannon. <laughs> and you imagine if Cannon Curry is a better shooter than Steph, or he might be out there with the gun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't have no easy with that name. It's like, what could you do? What can? <laughs> if you, by the way, if you shoot half as good as your daddy, and your name is Cannon. Oh, you're through the roof. That that, yeah. that marketing, Mark, that, yeah, uh, all that. the promotion we talking about, oh, yes. he's out of here. Yes. He's out of here. He's out of here. So salute to Steph Curry, leader of the Beige Brigade. I'm really trying to put together my top five, you know, beige leaders of this generation, leaders of the light skin. It's definitely Drake's on there. Steph Curry's number one. I got to put Steph number one. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people might argue Drake, but keep in mind that Drake has a Steph Curry tattoo. So that says a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? T.I. is always going to be one of the yeah. leaders of the light skin. Who else is light skin? Envy? I can't put Envy on there. For the first five? I just can't. Yeah, if, if he, and I know him. Yeah, you can't do that. I am. Yeah. I don't see, I just don't see it. And Andrew Lightskin is a <laughs> motherfucker too, you know Obama what I'm saying? You can't put him on there. I don't know if I put Obama on there either. Obama Lightskin? He got more of a honey brown. Yeah, a little something. I don't know if I put Obama on there. Nah, J. I Cole, I think J. Cole should go on there. J. Cole Lightskin? You don't think J. Cole should be top five? They call on, but T.I. don't act like skins. Yeah, I don't like ice skin at all. Oh, Taylor said something real. Taylor she said, Taylor said <laughs> they don't act like skin. But T.I. is not real. light skin. And y'all can sit there and talk about, oh, these are these colorism conversations that I hate. Hey, man, there's a difference. It's really a difference. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. But what you what you think, all right, so instead of well done, they are uh, medium well. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see a little pink. Too much pink. Yeah, too much pink. You can't <laughs> eat it. You can't eat that shit. By the way, two of my... <laughs> Oh, smell it. Smell what? Smell it. Did, did smell good. It. Smell it. Dusty. Smell it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean, man? You light skin. 
Um, no. Who else is light skinned? No. Let me tell you something. The funny part is one of my one of my one of my best friends in the world. One of your guys. Uh, Frost. DJ Frosty. Frost. Epitome of light skin. He light skin. He is light skin. Epitome. <laughs> All right. Been the epitome of light skin since I known him. Yeah. The only other person that has made me believe every single stereotype of light skinned people other than Frosty is uh DJ Envy. <laughs> yes. Envy is boy. Yeah, Envy light skin. Boy. And we got the same birthday. He's a light skin. Lord have light, mercy. Definitely light skin. Lord have mercy. So y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. Hold on, Taylor. Let me see. Will Smith ain't no light skin. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, let me see who they consider light skin. What'd you Google, Taylor? Light skin male. <laughs> Let's look at that. That's, that's, that's light, no skin light skin male. Man, Jamie Foxx ain't light skin. Stop. Come on, man. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan definitely ain't light skin. Back wild. Michael man. Ealy, yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Jesse Williams. Um, who else in here? Drake, of course. They got J. Cole up here. They got J. Cole. For like, yeah, they, they got, got a lot of too many beige guys. Terrence here. Howard. Terrence Howard. <laughs> who's Terrence Howard? Terrence Howard, man, he's hard out here for a pimp. He's hard out. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. I like Terrence, too, though. Uh, a lot of these people ain't light skinned, man. Man, a lot of these people ain't light skinned. And not at all. Not at all. But yeah, the moral of the story is salute to Steph Curry. All right, leader of the Beige Brigade, leader of the light skin. I can't believe I ain't know that many light skinned people. Ice Cube is not light skinned. Knock it off. The sun is. All right, let's stop and pay some bills. Uh, Liquid Death. You may receive a call from your teenager's teacher saying they saw your child drinking a tall boy a beer in their virtual Zoom class, but it's most likely not beer. It's a new mountain spring water brand called Liquid Dev. I see Liquid Dev trucks everywhere now, by the way. I don't know if it's because, you know, they sponsor brilliant idiots, so I'm very familiar with them, but I see their ads, at least the trucks everywhere. So clearly people are drinking Liquid Death now. Why is this water called Liquid Death? Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst. And their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore. In fact, most plastic you throw in a recycling bin actually just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle. Aluminum is infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities. Now, now, I like Liquid Def um, because to the point of having that tall can in your hand. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed, but when I drink water, I ferociously squeeze the bottle. I noticed. I know that y'all notice because y'all say that all the time on you know YouTube comments and everything else. I don't feel the need to do that with an aluminum can. With a plastic bottle, I do. With an aluminum can, I don't. So for me, I enjoy you know drinking out of the aluminum can because it keeps me from just squeezing. The goddamn can. And it might be even, I don't know why I squeeze the bottle. I don't have to do that. I could just do. <laughs> even then, I felt the need to squeeze it. But get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. That's liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Or grab some at Whole Foods in 7-Eleven. Also, Brilliant Idiots is sponsored by the Red Panda Stock Club. Oh, man, salute to everybody that's joining, that's joined and is joining the Red Panda Stock Club. My guy, Ian, are you tired of not knowing what to invest in and want to know exactly what are the safest stocks to invest your money in? Then join the Red Panda Stock Club. You probably know Ian from his coverage in Forbes. He's been in USA Today. He's one of the most exciting entrepreneurs of 2021. He's been in Rolling Out. Uh, he's been on Unfiltered. He's been on The Breakfast Club. He's been on The God's Honest Truth, you know, with me. Uh, and he records at WTF Media Studio, you know what I mean? And you can check him out on Market Mondays. He does that every week with my guys Rashad and Troy from Earn Your Leisure. There are a lot of people talking about investing, but none of them have the track record that he, that he does. Ian predicted Bitcoin dropping to 28000 two months before it happened. He predicted Bitcoin recovering in less than 63 days from the low of 28 grand. He called to invest in Moderna at 43 in April of 2020 and is currently at 408, which is 820% return. This dude is really the Steph Curry of this goddamn investing. He likes I'm not him. even playing. And he's confident with it. Like the, the confidence Steph Curry has in his jump shot, Ian has in his stock tips. Okay, here's everything you will get out of Red Panda Stock Club. You'll get the best four stocks to invest in for the long term. You'll get the best entries on the planet that will tell you exactly what you should be looking to get in. You'll get a year worth for the best companies to invest in. You'll get the worst companies to stay away from. You'll get the two stocks to invest in if we go into a full-blown recession. You'll get the easiest way to buy a stock in two minutes or less. Our top three sites that Red Panda Stock Club uses for researching the stock. You'll get their favorite book recommendations, five to be exact. You'll get unlimited access for 365 days, and you'll get a weekly meeting 
with Ian and the Red Panda family every Monday night at 9 p.m. Central after Market Mondays. Ian's really about this life, man. If you're tired of getting your ass kicked in the market and want to be able to win in the market, join the Red Panda Stock Club, and investing will never be easier for you. Go to joinredpanda.com and enter the code IDIOTS to get 50% off for the next two weeks. After that, the price will go back up. Results are not guaranteed. Join redpanda.com. Joining redpanda.com is not a registered investment advisor, okay? But join redpanda.com is definitely not a registered investment advisor, okay? All investment and financial opinions expressed by joinredpanda.com are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the site and are intended as education material. Why do we always have the need to do these legal disclaimers fast? Because we hear them like that on commercials? Yep. Results are not guaranteed. JoinRedPanda.com is not a registered investment advisor. All investment and financial opinions expressed by JoinRedPanda.com are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the site and are intended as education material. Now let's get back to the show. Bro, you know how that would sound? I was to have to, have to read it. Because I can't read that fast. You should read more. If you read more, you could read fast. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> Let's do some church announcements, man. Uh, what you got, Wax? Yes, man. We got a show on February 5th, man. I need y'all all to come out there. And support. I'm not sure exactly where the ticket's at, but it's in New York City at go to Eventbrite and it's in is that caveat. That's uh T Diddy in the back, of course. You can whisper. But um yeah, we could um y'all come out and come support. We got games, we got What's the guests, date again? The February fifth. February fifth. Where? In Caveat in New York City. At Caveat in New York City. What time? Seven PM. Seven PM. Yes. And where do you get tickets? Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Yes. Search Bully and the, the Beast, beast on as soon as you go to Eventbrite. Yes. And also got my herbs out there and your local dispensaries out there in L.A. Make sure y'all go grab that. Go to whoswax.com. Go get you grab your gummies. Uh, go to who's and uh, um, wait for the live show, too. And you go ahead and get, uh, we streaming out there, too. You know what I'm saying? So you go on there and go get your tickets to be able to stream. And uh, I got the Airsoft company out there in Hugie, South Carolina, man. Get your tickets. I'm doing Airsoft Podcast Wars. Um, you know, just whoever you want to fight against, man. Talk shit to them and come out there and come have fun. Word. Uh, my church announcements, man, we, we put out a lot of content this year, and I was thinking about that today. So it is Christmas time. So it's a lot of things that you can get for nice little stocking stuffers. You know what I'm saying? Like um, I put out a project with Audible this year called We've Got Answers. And if you remember that project, um, I, took, I got nine, you know, nine of what I call a brilliant black brain trust. It's nine people that I, I definitely trust and I definitely listen to. And I had white people, my man James Altucher, you know, he solicited a bunch of questions from a bunch of white people. And it was a safe space for white people to ask black people, you know, anything that they wanted to know, man. Uh, Senator Nina Turner is on there. Jamila T. Davis is on there. Tamika Mallory is on there. Um, David Banner is on there. Uh, Nuri Muhammad is on there. Um, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble is on there. Uh, my, uh, who else is on there? I'm, miss, I'm missing some people. Teslin Figaro is on there. Ebony K. Williams is on there. Um, now mayor of New York, Eric Adams is on there. He wasn't the mayor when he uh, did that, recorded it, but he's on there. And who am I missing? Am I missing anybody? Why do I want to say attorney Corey Minor Smith? I'm not sure. I love it. I love attorney Corey Minor Smith. So she's if she's not on there, she'll be on the next one. All right. I can't I can't remember at this moment. But um, yes, we've got answers. Well, let me pull that up because I don't want to leave nobody out because there's not even a lot of people on that project. Let me let me make sure. Okay. We put out so much content, I can't remember who does what and where they do it. Um hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Erica Alexander. Salute to Queen Erica Alexander. Yes, Attorney Corey Minor Smith is on there, as well as my man, uh, Reverend William Barber. Okay, and the good brother, Dr. Claude Anderson, is on there. How I forget all my people like that? I apologize. Yes, Dr. Claude Anderson, Tamika D. Mallory, Ebony K. Williams, David Banner, Nori Muhammad, Reverend William Barber, Erica Alexander, Eric Adams, Jamila T. Davis, Nina Turner, Teslin Figaro, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, and Corey Minor Smith. Thank you all for being on uh, We've Got Answers, the project that I put out with Audible. But you can go uh, get that right now, you know, right now on Audible. You know, me and Kevin Hart got the company at Audible. SBH. That was not part of the SBH rollout. 
That was uh, just a one-off that I did, but the SPH rollout will start rolling out next year. But it's a good project to get um, somebody for Christmas. Also, Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. Put that out through my imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. Um, that's available right now. Great stocking stuffer, as well as Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters. Put that out through my imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. That's another great stocking stuffer. So listen, man, books, literature, those are great things, you know, to get uh, people for stocking stuffers for Christmas. So make sure you go out there and grab that. And always uh, watch The God's Honest Truth every Friday night at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Uh, you can stream all the episodes on Paramount+. Plus. We're actually doing our last episode of the year this week. After this week, everything shuts down for me. You know what I mean? For us. Yeah. You know, we might. I might do Brilliant Idiots next week. Depend. Well, no, Andrew will be on his honeymoon. So it just depends. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But Breakfast Club shut down after this week. The God's Honest Truth shut down after this week. Brilliant Idiots, maybe. I don't know yet, but make sure you watch The God's Honest Truth this Friday at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris will be joining us this week. All right? Dope. All right. Now, um, last week I sat down with uh, Travis Scott. Yeah. Got, a, got a call, uh, uh, not last weekend, whatever weekend that was, the weekend before we did the interview, and it was like, you know, Travis Scott, Wanted to wanted to sit down and have a conversation. Dope. I never m met Travis Scott yeah. in my life. Never had a conversation with him ever, you know. So you know the fact that he said he wanted to sit down with me. Hey, great, mm -hmm. you know when they want to do it. It was like yo ASAP, and so we flew out. That was a, that was a Saturday. Flew out there on a Tuesday mm -hmm. and sat down with him. You know, um, haven't really watched, haven't really looked at too many, you know reviews of the conversation because I think conversations like that it's bigger than reviews it is. and um, I, I hate that we live in an era where somebody can be going through something right a lot of different people going through something right because uh -huh. it's not just the families it's not just the people who lost their life it's not yeah. just the families of the loved ones of, of the love of, it's not just the families of the people who lost their life it's people like Travis too. So yeah, it's man. everybody. It's a tragedy all across the board. And I hate when you, you know tragedies like this become somebody's entertainment. Cause I really don't know, you know, how you handle a situation like this. Have you it know? definitely in your hands. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, you know I mean, you know, cause cause there's no way to shake it. And you know, I think it's a lot of things even you know, if you if you saw the interview, you could see in his face he's going through it like yeah. you can't you can't fake that you know what i'm yeah. saying and you know just being there and being around him for those th those couple of hours like yeah that energy is dark and and it's heavy and you know there there was there was moments even after the interview where i caught him talking to himself and mm -hmm. talking about the situation you know what I mean? And that'll be all on your mind, man. You got you got death on your hands. You don't know how the people's feel and all that type of stuff. But you know, I I I know not to like. I look. I viewed him to be somebody totally different, only because of what people were saying. Like I yeah, really have yeah, to meet yeah, people, yeah, man. Yeah. All that listening with other people saying stuff like that, man. Fuck all that. And by the way, we don't know him. We yeah, only we don't know around him for two hours. You know yeah, what I mean? But, but, but in that two geez. hours, I was just like, man, this is a lot for that for for that young brother to be carrying. You know what I mean? But like I told him in the interview. There's nothing he could say that is going to bring healing to those families. Like, those families don't want to hear that right Money now. or nothing, dude, when you got a nothing. death in my, I don't care. At if you, all. You're a parent, money can't help you get your kid back nah. in that. Fuck all that money. You know nah. what I'm saying? Nah. It's just, it's just got to be a psychological mind fuck for people to die watching you do something that you love to do and those people were there because they love what it is that you do. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I, you, you would never want anything like that to happen. Yeah, the, the I total guess opposite happened. That's the thing for me. It's like we acting like this was purposeful. Yeah. Sometimes people, like I watch the way the media reacts and everything. And they're acting like this was his fault, intentional. Now, <laughs> you know, has he been arrested for inciting a riot and stuff before? Yes. You know what I mean? The energy of his music did it. We had this conversation during the interview too. Did it did it set the tone for people to come out there and wild out and stuff? Sure, but did in that moment did he get on that stage and do all of that? No. Yeah. So you know what I mean. Um, 
I, I think There's in a so situation, many songs that do that though. All the time, people, man, what? I grew up on crunk. We grew up on crunk, so you know, like what the fuck is <laughs> what, what, what the what the fuck is pop that pussy then? Pop that pussy, oh. hey, pop that pussy. I mean, I'm What's just that saying. Got to do with anything, man? No, I'm, I'm about to tell you right now because it's like you see you see the the young girls doing that. You be like you don't really want them to do that. Like, I'm just saying yeah, you don't like, really want them to do that nobody though. Nobody got killed in the process of people popping pussy. But you don't really want them to do that though. You know what I'm trying to say? You don't really want them popping that pussy like yo, oh, cut that off. I don't you know what I'm saying? Right right. I do know that if somebody was on that stage and they were singing "Pop That Pussy," they wouldn't be getting blamed. For all of this. <laughs> You know what I mean at 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 Astro World because the crazy part is this man and I keep saying this over and over you can't control human behavior yes so it's like even I saw something this week where like somebody was getting syringes stabbed in their butt at a wow at a at a concert here in New York easy you know I mean yo. was it New York I don't know if it was New York what, what, Sleepy Hollow that's the rapper's name Sleepy Hollow they say with people getting stabbed in his butt you don't blame Sleepy Hollow for that no you can't you know what I'm saying I'm not blaming Sleepy Hollow because some Crazy person came to his concert with a syringe and was stabbing people in their butt. Unless he got a song called "Stab Him in the Butt with a Syringe," you know what I mean? But even that's still not his fault, though. You got, that's what I'm trying to say with the lyrics. You cannot no, go off not, all the lyrics that people are saying. Yourself, but yo, do you think that Papa Molly and all these Molly songs and stuff they want the kids and stuff to do that? They don't want these people to stab whether, people with syringes. Whether they, no, okay, that's a good point. Whether they want 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 them to do it or not, it's still an influence. You know what I'm saying? But then a lot of these artists can say, look, it's just performance art. It's art. You know what I mean? But art influences people. So that's why what you put out there into the universe, you got to be very cognizant and intentional of what you put out there into the universe. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have the luxury of getting on the microphone and saying it's all entertainment. I used to say that back in the day. <laughs> but you quickly realize, like, no, motherfucker, your words are not just all entertainment. I like, still say it. I you can incite shit. You know what I mean? You can traumatize people. Like, there's a lot of different have things. Have people want to fight you? Have people want to fight you? You, you know what I mean? There's a lot of different things you can do with your words, man. So it's like, I don't, I can't, I can't go with that. It's just entertainment excuse. Also, too, when I was a kid once, and I'm, uh, all of that shit influenced me growing up. Mm -hmm. oh, Beans uh, fucked me up. Who? Beanie Siegel Beanie fucked Siegel. me up. I, I, I loved Beanie, but Beanie didn't. Mm. I, yeah, Beanie, Beanie and Styles had you fucked up. Yes, Beanie, Styles, and, and Ho. So I mean, Hov had me fucked up in a good way. Though. In a good way, though. I yeah, mean, yeah, Beanie yeah. had me fucked up in a, in a in a bad way, so I needed Beans because I was in that world, and he helped me get through that world because I was yeah. already in it. One thing I always like about Beans and Styles, though, they always talk, all of them, Beans, Styles, and Hov, they always talked about the consequences of the game. That's why I was that's there. What was, that's what's mm -hmm. missing from this era. Nobody's talking about the consequences of the game. You know what I mean? Y'all yeah. talking to me about all this drug use, but not talking about how motherfuckers is really seizures, addicted out here and yeah, having seizures yeah. and having to go to rehab and having overdose and all. Talk to me about that side of the game. You know what I mean? Because we lost a lot from that, too. Yes, man. I was reading something today about EDM concerts and all the overdoses that happen at EDM concerts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, tell me about some of these Damn. consequences. And, man, it's just sad when you look at the situation like Astro World, because I truly do feel like it's like anything else. Travis didn't want that to happen. He wanted yeah. people to come to his show and have a good time. Rage culture is a real culture, just like Crunk was a, a real culture. Plus, really Rage was, comes man. from rock and roll. Rage comes from rock and roll and heavy metal, the mosh pits and all of that Damn, shit. Damn, like so that. I know it used to be crazy back in the day. Oh, come on, man. By the way, this happened at rock festivals before. It happened at a Pearl Jam concert. It happened at a Metallica concert. It happened at Woodstock before. It ha you know what I mean? It happened with the Who. By the way, I ain't never heard none of these motherfuckers' music, but it's happened to these. It's happened to these concerts. But did they get the same backlash that Travis got? I wasn't around then, but I don't think so. We can't hear you, Taylor. You gotta get on the mic. Do I what? I don't think he should stop his craft. No. I'm saying he, he went through something. Do you do you stop after you have a car accident? I mean, you kill somebody in a car accident. You you could you could say you could still drive. No. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? You said he should he still perform. No, I'm just asking. Performing? I don't know, but I do know this. Get back on the horse, bro. If you fall, I think all of these. Uh, and I think all of these festivals are making a grave mistake by doing that because, well, number one, if I was Travis's team, I wouldn't let him perform. If I was Travis's team, I'd have pulled him from all these festivals before he got canceled. But that would just be, to me, that would have just been the right thing to responsible do. Responsible thing. You know what I mean? Do. That would have been the responsible thing to do. Like, just uh -huh. if I'm Travis and I'm his team, I would have just pulled away from all of these festivals 
like for the foreseeable future. But also, I think that these festivals are making a mistake because this can happen again. Yes. It's happened before, and it can happen again. When you're dealing with these large crowds of people, 50,000 to 75,000 to 100,000 people, you're relying on human behavior to keep everybody safe. Do we realize as human beings, forget, forget just those large crowds, us four in this room right now uh-huh. are relying on us to keep each other safe. Literally. What if you snap? What if Taylor snaps? And happened before. We've been in this room with people we thought we trusted and they've snapped. Yeah. Yeah. No, really. Literally. Literally. Snapped. Yes. And attacked. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? We had to rely on each other to make sure we did the right thing. Yes. We're all as human beings relying on each other. There's no there's technically no place you go that's safe if you're around random strangers. There's just people that you don't know, literally. Even when you know them. Because you don't know what they're going through. No, literally. Like, God bless the dead. Think about all these cases about you know, these people, these football players that we're hearing about with CTE, and they end up snapping. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? I, I just seen a video. I'm not sure. Is it Maryland or something like that? The guy oh, killed, Lord. His, oh, Lord. killed his baby mother. Man, I'm was so mad at y'all for putting that in the group chat. And and, and then killed his, his a former ex-wife. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't understand. But that that happens all the time. I don't understand the logic. That, that, I don't understand the logic. I don't understand the logic. God bless that brother. God bless everybody involved in that that's, that's weak. situation. You need I, a Jesus, man. Because you know what? I, I, I don't even want to talk about Real shit. It's, it's, it's a lot of things that I turned around because I knew Jesus. And I know there's way more consequences. I turned around because of Jesus. And you need a, a crutch. You need something stronger to overpower yourself to make you turn around and not do that. Because a lot of people did, people do everybody wrong all the time. I just think that if I saw that video and the first thing I thought was, well, where the kids going to go now? Everybody you know I mean? did. That's what I'm saying. If, 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 you, if, you, if you love the kids, and this is about the kids and not being able to see your kids, what, what happens to the kids now? Now they're a part of the system. And, and and his girl was pregnant. Traumatized, like, too. Yeah, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, Oh, well, that I, kid is man. gone, so I guess the, the other kid. I'm not judging. I'm not judging because I don't know what gets somebody to that point. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what. The crutch needs to be Jesus. Whatever you was crutching or whatever you didn't have, you, you, you fell short, man. You was weak. I don't know what internal issues get, get somebody to that point, man. Because that's, that's snap, snap. Like, that's the, that's bigger than snap. I saw that. I was like, the first thing, first thing I said was, why y'all send me this? Number two, I said, is this real? Because I couldn't believe it was real. Yeah, towards the end when it shut off, I was oh, like, is Lord, it real for real, mercy. too? Oh, my God, man. Rest in peace to all of those people yeah. involved in that tragic situation. Definitely sending all the families healing energy. I don't wish that on nobody, man. But, you know, just go watch the Travis Scott interview. It's on YouTube. My, my, like, like I said, my personal opinion is just like, you know, I don't know how one person gets blamed for that whole tragedy. And boy, it's got to be really, really hard to really be going through something like that in this era, man. So who, so who could charge? You remember the guy that was shooting in Vegas? The guy hanging out the window. Yes. Yeah. Who got charged for that? I mean, who whose fault was that? Well, if there was a rapper on stage and that rapper was a rapper that rapped about violence, and then he probably, if, if, even if they didn't rap about violence, they probably would get the blame for it. They love that. I'm telling you, man. Listen, they love oh, indicting hip hop, yo. Hip hop gets blamed for so fucking much. But that guy was out of a window shooting at a whole crowd, like, yes, I, and hitting people up. Let like that have been a rap show. That's what I'm trying to say. If that would have like, been a rap show, they'd have been blaming the music, man. I'm telling you, they would have made the connection between guns and, you know, the, the, the gun violence and the stuff rappers rap about. I'm telling you, they would have made that connection. They did it on CNN with Travis. When B-Dot was on Travis, that's one of the first things the anchors did. They, they put up all the times he's, you know, I guess, inciting been arrested for inciting a riot, and they was quoting his lyrics. I'm like, yo, I don't, hear, I don't see that with no other genre, yo. Nah. They only yeah. do that with us. Nah, what what song was playing when the guy was shooting then? You know no what I'm idea. saying? Like it was out of control. It was kind of crazy. But who festival was it? Was it a? No, it was, no. It was a country festival. That was before. It, it was, was a country was... festival. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I just want us to give more people grace, man. Simply, just simply because yo, all of us make mistakes, and I wouldn't wish none of that on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish what's going on with Travis Scott on my worst enemy. Number one, because I wouldn't want to see nine people get killed. At a concert. At anything that we do. Nine people get killed. Anywhere. Anything that we get. Oh, we're relying on human behavior. Literally. 
Like literally, if I wa- when we walk outside this building today, we just hoping everybody cool. That's it. <laughs> like Real straight shit. up. I had a motherfucker in my truck, so I know we just don't know at you any time know, anything can always happen. And my short, she always be like, she laughed at me because she was like, last night, she like, what you want for Christmas? A hurricane kit, ha <laughs> And I was like, actually, if you could buy me a bunch of like ropes and, and, and flashlights and blades and shit like that, I'd be happy as hell. I, man, man, you should see me every single night. I'm the whole perimeter of my house get checked. Everything get checked. My, everything is locked down. You see what I got in my house? That's precious to me. That's that is my heart outside my chest. So it's I'm like you. I can't play around with this. Is this if I lose this, this is it. I don't trust nobody. Yo, think about yo, think about how spooky it is in life that we drop our kids off to school. Think about that. No, for real. We rely man. We're I, relying I, on some and, and some and, and, and in some cases, people we never met. I don't want to talk about that. I think Listen, about that every fucking time I get on the every, plane. And every time it is like this, only people that can get you is the ones you trust. It's the ones that you let do it. The people that you like really shine away might be the best ones to watch your kids. You, you know what I'm saying? We were on that flight the other day because I always try to talk to the pilot, right? Mm-hmm. Just to say yeah, hi. Respect, or yes. They the said pilot it was and the, the chef. Pilot's birthday. And the pilot was standing by the bathroom. I said, hey, man, happy birthday, man. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? Because I need to make sure you are in good spirits. Yep. Because all that pilot got to do is have a bad fucking day. That's it. It's so many Say, people. fuck this. That's right. <laughs> it's so many people we take for granted. We take for granted our teachers. Yep. Public school teachers. We drop our kids off to public school teachers every Get day. Get them a Christmas present. With our kids, yes. When Have you ever said hi to your kid's teacher? Like, hello, had a conversation. Are the pilots of planes? The when chef. We go in these restaurants. Yes, man. Talk to the chef, man. man. Give him something. Always. So how you lie. doing, sir? Do you do you understand how much we rely on humans just to keep? We're all relying on each other to keep each other safe. Even the gas station, man. That motherfucker be you. You. I'll be on my phone. He could be putting gasoline all over your shit. And all they gotta do is light it, and you fucked up. What you gonna do? That's why I don't understand you, rude motherfuckers. I don't understand rude motherfuckers. Yeah. I don't understand people that go in restaurants and talk shit to waitresses. Oh, I don't understand people man. that go on planes, talk crazy to pilots. You do not know. Don't be like that, man. Yeah, I, ho- I hope I was inside the restaurant putting my meat on the forks and stuff. The only bad people. I think God sent them people there no, at that time no. and era in my life. There you go. So they can get the silverware no. with my meat on it. You're just trying to justify some bullshit I am. that you did. I am. Okay, you put, you put your... You put your <laughs> Your, your, the, the utensils on your meat because you like the feeling of that. No, cold that's not steel. true. I really did not want to be there. Dick. I said, my mom, it's, it's a couple of jobs we could have went to. I ended up going to the car a lot. But it was a couple of jobs. She's like, you're getting this job. You get 30 days and you get, the, you get to work for 30 days and then you get to quit. I said, all right. It was a restaurant. I said, Ma, I don't want to work at a restaurant. I had to sit back there and wash the dishes for, and mop the floor. Man, fuck. Why was you sitting this. on plates? I wasn't sitting on the plate, ass. man. No, I didn't. It was just forks. It's like, well, I, wa- I make sure they wash or they don't come back. I can't believe I'm saying this. You told me you sat nope. on the plates with your bare I'm not ass, doing man. that. That's a lie. Little... Back in the day stuff, did man. Shimmy. Back in That's the day. That's what you told me. You did a little twerk. Before college, man. This is out of control. I was stupid. That's crazy. Yes, Taylor. Have y'all ever not been prepared for something like that? Like, you really have to I've never done that. Wax, Wax was the king of walking out of restaurants. No, you lie. I mean, it, it, listen. Out, right? they never, Wax is the out. king of walking out of restaurants. I mean, how many times they embarrassed me? from IHOP in Columbia, <laughs> South because Carolina. Because of you. Because he never wanted to pay. He walk out the restaurant. <laughs> no, it was. I what, 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 what IHOP was that at? Right there on uh, Assembly. Assembly Street. The they used to treat shit. us so good, so much love when we go in there, and he walking out on the bill. It wasn't that, man. I wasn't going to be the last motherfucker out. I never did that. You never walked out on the bill? No. Oh, no, I did one time. <laughs> it was that time. I the one who got caught because I went to the bathroom first. Only reason I remember Everybody that. was gone. They were like, sir, everybody said it was me. And I'm like. But did you have the money or you just walked out? I ain't have all that motherfucking money for all them people. Hell no. Yeah, it was a bunch of us. The crazy part is. The whole is, club follows us every time we leave the club. Every time. The whole back part is us. Because you got to think, wax popular football player. Yeah. Frosty DJing. I'm a radio host. We, you know. <laughs> City used to fuck with us, and everybody in IHOP, and all hey, by we IHop. inviting. Let's go, go, we going to IHOP, we going to IHOP, we going to IHOP. Oh, <laughs> the whole Yo. section. I used to pay though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was uh, all the motherfuckers. The bill wasn't as crazy. Now that when I think about it, now I'm like, eh, sometimes the bill would be like a hundred and eighty six dollars. Yeah, Back then, that seemed like a lot of money. Yeah, you know, but eh, now it ain't. It ain't too crazy. 
I guess you know what six dollars a plate now. Now you think about it, back in the day, if it's twenty people, it's one hundred twenty. Yeah, it ain't nothing yeah, crazy. crazy. And De- De- I remember yeah. Dev showed uh, for my birthday last year. Dev posted this old ass screenshot from when she used to live in New York. This was from like twenty two thousand ten, maybe two thousand nine. I don't remember. Dev was like, "It's it's me texting her like, yo, I'm out." <laughs> She's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Leaving before the bill comes." <laughs> So clearly I did it. I did it before. Yeah. Clearly I did it before. Uh, let's pay some bills, man. What time are we at, Taylor? Let's pay some bills. Okay. Hey, man, got to salute Squarespace. Squarespace been riding with brilliant idiots for a long time, man. Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools. What do you need? Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events on anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes, and you get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple, too. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to this show. Taylor, give us some asking idiots, man. So we can get the fuck out of here. Because we got a long, not a long day. Just got some things to do. But we had to give y'all an episode this week, man. I didn't want to. I was thinking, I was I was like, you know what? Should we? But then I was like, I don't know if we're going to be here next week. So let's come in and talk to our peoples. Well, since Christmas is coming up, mm-hmm. um, Ace Draws Japan wants to know, what was the worst Christmas gift you ever uh, received? Mm. I never celebrated Christmas. I grew up Jehovah's Witness, so I never had a Christmas. I didn't have Christmas until I got older and became an adult and had my own yeah. family. And now we got our own Christmas traditions. But I've never been the type to, even now, I don't look to receive gifts. Mm. Like, I don't, it's whatever. I like, I like being able to, I like when that tree is up and all your kids are smiling and yeah, your I wife do. is smiling, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's what I care about. about. And I don't. I, I don't, you know, there could be no worse Christmas gift for me. I like being alive. I like, I'm telling you, when you wake up on Christmas Day and you look and you like, damn, yo. Damn. Man, laughing and smiling and Where stuff. That's what it's about. Oh, my God. That's what it's about. But, again, me too. I, I was always poor. I, I always, 12 brothers and sisters living in Jersey. We, uh, my Christmas is always uh, shared with my brothers. So we get one thing and we always share it. So I always have to give it to them. Which, I mean, because I was always into always everything else, just like I am now. It's like, I'm not into books. You know what I'm saying? It's like oh, somebody yeah. give me a book, I'm not going to read it. So I give it to my brothers. You know what I'm saying? So I was always into other things. You know what I mean, I always had my other activities. I was always into other things. You know, shit like books and water. I ain't really fucking with <laughs> You know what I mean? Air, too. I hold my breath a lot. You know what I mean? Y'all motherfuckers like to breathe and shit. You know what I mean? I thought about that earlier today. Somebody <laughs> said, I don't know who we was talking to, but somebody said, there's nothing that everybody on this planet does at the same time. And I was like, that's a fucking lie. Breathe. Breathe. I don't know why I thought about that after they said it. Think. I, and I didn't want to interrupt their train of thought because it was just, that's, it sounded like some sarcastic shit to say, but it's true. Breathing. Yes. We're all doing that at the same exact motherfucking time. Um, I do, you know, the best thing about the holidays too is like uh, the reflection. You know what I'm saying? So you get to mm-hmm. like reflect on the year. You reflect on the, on your life in a lot of situations. And for me, um, I know for a fact I got to a place of worthiness um, December of 2019 around the holiday season, just reflecting and reminiscing and things like that. I finally got to a place of worthiness. So that's the that's the beauty of the Praise holiday God. season. I do enjoy this season. It's the most wonderful time of the year, even though it feels like ain't shit happening. Yeah, right now it's just dead. Like, Where the up? fuck are the decorations in New York yeah, City, man? Come on, man. I'm, t- I'm not talking about people's individual houses and stores. I'm talking about like when you're walking down the street and you see the wraiths up. Yeah. Not the wraiths. What's that shit called? Is it reefs. Reefs? Reefs. reefs. The reefs up and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? With the flowers. Even the Roxy right here we're looking at, man. This used to be decked That's out and I'm everything, saying. man. Like motherfuckers are not in the holiday Where is the Christmas? I ain't heard not one Christmas song. None. I ain't heard no Christmas music yet either. Nothing. 
It's getting it looking like, I like Christmas. Yet. Nothing. It ain't feeling a lot like Christmas yet. Not at all. But you, you know what I was going to ask? Um, Ain't trees alive? And you, um... <laughs> no, for real. What's the next asking idiot? No, for real. Uh, because because I'll, can you kill a tree? Because if wood is alive... A tree is alive. It's a plant. Okay. No, no, I'm talking about the bark and everything. Yes. If it's alive. That's why when you... So yeah. right now, this is alive. That's why flowers die. This is not alive. It's a table now. No, this man. is wood. No, man, no. So you can kill trees. Yes, you can kill trees. And I don't understand why we keep killing trees because it's the stupidest thing in the world because humans and trees exchange... Breath. That's, 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 but it's, 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 it's the oxygen and that it's that a filter for us. Oxygen, we give off carbon dioxide. They get off carbon, carbon dioxide. dioxide. It's carbon something. We give off some type of carbon. And they give us carbon. They give off. They give us H two O. Right. H two O is water. Oh. They give us the O. <laughs> <in> the H- <laughs> <laughs> they give us the. I o. knew that shit. They give us the <laughs> <laughs> I feel happy as hell. I do too. <laughs> Hey, mark that. Put that shit down. That's nigga. why it's the brilliant idiots. They give us oxygen. So we give off the carbon something, and they give off oxygen. And I don't understand why we keep cutting down all the motherfucking trees, and you wonder why people got asthma and shit. Hold up. And there's less people in the world, so what the fuck are you cutting it down why for? Why you cutting all the goddamn trees down? You know how many down? people dying? People die every day. Huh? People die every single day. More people that buy houses. People, people that are born buy, every day, too, though, right? They, buy, they ain't buying houses. They ain't buying property. They about? babies. <laughs> I don't get what you're saying. You don't see what I'm saying? It ain't just about houses. It's about Starbucks, bro. I, I get what you're saying, but... I build buildings. Even though I think why, it's the stupid But why are you world. doing that? People are dying, so why you need more space? There ain't enough Starbucks out there? That's why they need to stop. Stop cutting down all the trees and then wonder why people are having respiratory problems and fucking asthma and can't breathe correctly. Or is, or is born. Stop it. That's probably where COVID comes from because they're cutting down all these fucking trees. Because you know trees is, is a filter. Like in a cigarette, the filter right there, mm-hmm. that's what trees is. So if now that now the, all the fucking air is all fucked up, this land is fucked up because all these trees fucked up. The difference between us and everybody else is this the brilliant of this podcast. We let you know that we're putting out misinformation. Oh. But it's for a good cause. <laughs> you can find a support for climate change in this conversation somewhere. Give us another Ask an Idiot Taylor. Tesla. Um, Circa underscore nineteen ninety three wants to know best twenty twenty one memory. Hmm. Ooh. My son being born, my hands, yeah. Hard. Yeah. Hard. I had a lot of good 2021 memories. Same. New daughter born this year. Um, The time we spent at our new studio, Bless The Happy us. Accident, The God's Honest Truth is Spot. incredible. Mm-hmm. I love it. Love being there. Same. Um, love, love the cultural institution we building over there. Um, d- Thoroughly enjoyed myself and my wife's 40th. Both Bless of them. Us. We did, we did a couple parties um, for my wife's 40th. Well, actually, first of all, salute to everybody in Turks and Caicos. You know, I don't be liking to talk about where I be at when I be there, but salute to everybody in Turks and Caicos. We had a great time in Turks and Caicos. Salute to the homie Peter Gay. Uh, that's a woman, by the way. You know, um, she really took care of us. You know, everybody at uh, the Shaw Club in Turks and Caicos, they show a lot of love. Every time we go to Turks, they show so nice. much love, man. Salute to Turks, man. Got a lot of love for Turks. My man, Denario, salute to you. And uh, we had a great time. We had a great time. We was there for like five, six days. We actually bought in my wife's 40th, you know, in Turks and Caicos. Salute to Spinderella. DJ Spinderella came through and she provided the soundtrack, you know, for my wife's born day. And then um, the next weekend, you know, when we got back, we got back on that Wednesday. So then that Saturday, you know, I had a small little get together in, in New Jersey. Just like we had a small get together in Turks, you know, because, you know, we keep the circle tight. But, um, small you know, far. salute to everybody at Bear Burger. My wife... She likes hamburgers, you know, and there's a spot in New Jersey, New York area called Bear Burger, and um, I, I, I got it for a private event, and my wife had no idea, so like a lot of our folks pulled up from South Carolina, salute to Kim, man, oh man, salute to Kim, Kim Fields, I love you so much, Kim, that's my wife's uh-huh. college friend, friend. you know, she put together everything, you know, in Turks and Caicos, like she put together the whole itinerary, but then she, you know, came back. Uh, to Jersey that weekend to surprise my wife again and you know all all my wife's friends pulled up you know for for both either Turks or uh, the spot in Jersey and we had a great time that night in Bear Burger and I gotta salute you know my wife has two favorite artists two of her favorite artists ever of all time are Erica Badu and Jill Scott yeah 
My wife's forty. If you know, I had to, I had to, I had to, to had to have one had of to. them. You know what I mean? So Erica Badu, she pulled up uh, in Jersey, man. And man, let me tell y'all something. If y'all ain't never heard DJ Low Down Loretta Brown, wow. If y'all ain't never heard DJ Low Down Loretta Brown provide a soundtrack it. for a party, y'all are nuts. I wow. I was shocked. You know, you me got too. You, you too, right? It makes sense. She's too much of a celebrity, too much of a singer to have that too. That's dangerous. <laughs> Cause you know you got these celebrity DJs who just push buttons. Yeah. Like nah. DJ Low Down, Loretta Brown, Erica Badu came in there, jacket on, took the jacket off, put the scully on, and yeah, she, she started scratching. She started mm-hmm. off with the um, doom, 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 doom. You know the beginning? What's the beginning of that Dos Effects record? What record is that? Doom, doom, doom. I mean, I, it's, I yeah. think it's Dos Effects. I don't know what what it was. But yeah, but I don't know nah, what's that. Though. Salute to Erica but Badu. Even, even, and, but she had her. Everybody always got an Erica Badu. Like section inside there, yeah. at, you know what I'm saying? And she did it was so fire. Absolutely. So salute to Erica Badu, man. Salute to Nephew, you know, at the Black Home in Newark for you know, you know, really decking out the bed burger the right Dope. way. And yeah, Erica Badu made it real special. So, you know, sung Happy Birthday to my wife, uh-huh. and you know that was a great way to celebrate the 40th Born Day. But that's that's the type of things I enjoy. I enjoy experiences. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So that was a a great question. So that was a yeah. Those those were my 2021. Memories, man. It's been a really good year. Also, I mean, also, you know, t- when Tamika Mallory's book came out, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built, just just watching people be able to, like, you know, live out their dreams, that's that's always my pleasure. You know what I mean? Watching Anita Kopax put out Shallow Waters and, you know, like, those moments, like, watching Tamika be on her her, pr- her press run, you know, for her book, you know, same thing with Anita, like, doing um the Drew Barrymore show with, it, show with Anita, like, my my greatest moments literally come in watching other people enjoy themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like I like seeing other people have a good time. I like seeing uh-huh. other people, you know, be filled. That's what I like. That's what makes me feel. That's honestly, I I I like throwing assists more than I like scoring points. So watching other people happy, other people, you know, energized and full of the spirit, that's what I like. Yeah. What what else we got Taylor game? Did I say thank you? I said thank you to Erica Badu, right? Oh, just thank you. That's what I was I was saying all that to say thank you to all those people that helped me make those memories possible. Um, Mandingo underscore Warrior here wants to know, if you could go back in time and stop one event from happening, what would it be? It's interesting. Yeah, wow. I don't know, because it just depends how you see time. Like, all my concepts of time come from movies. So if you could go back in time and stop certain events from happening, you know, and change things, like Back to the Future, sure. Yeah. But if you go back in time, like, in, in Endgame, and it just creates another timeline, I don't know. And then I also wonder if, because I truly believe, man, every single thing that has ever happened in my life has happened for a reason. Everything. I, I got two. You got two? Yeah. What are they? Boys in the Hood, Ricky. And um, Mufasa and and Lion King. What? No, I can see that. I can see why you Them two that. right there. Thomas I, J and my girl, too, bro. You never seen my girl? What happened? Man, yo, Thomas J was in the fucking woods minding his goddamn business trying to get something for Vader and fucking... He bumped the beehive and he's allergic oh, oh, to bees, allergic man. Bees. I do remember bees that. Bees fucked Thomas J up, man. Glasses dropped. He was, oh, my God, that shit was sad. Ricky should have fucking dived or went to the left. Zigzag. Do something, bro. Zigzag, zigzag. He was a fucking running back, bro. Uh, 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 hit the fence. He was scared, man. Fight or flight. That's the other thing we don't talk about when it comes to that movie. We don't. You got to go back and look through those. Look at those movies through a lens of being a healed person. Ricky. What Ricky. The fuck. Was Ricky? in a. He was in fight or flight mode. He was just trying to survive. He wasn't thinking. Too whatever. Much of an athlete, I know, but he wasn't thinking, man. He was out. He dropped the goddamn milk carton. And tried to go. Yeah. Ah. They shot. The, they that, shot. That, 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 that was like cornmeal. Oh, she won the cornmeal. For the for the biscuits or something, man. Now nah, he was, was drinking milk. He was drinking milk, yeah. Damn, man, they shot Ricky man, down. Like what about fucking bitch. Mufasa, man? Who, Mufasa could have went bro. over more where where Simba was at. You know what I'm saying? He could have went over because Simba was chilling. Who? <laughs> Neither one of them had to die. Uh, why do that? Ricky couldn't have a happy ending and go to the NFL. We needed fucking Mufasa because Simba, bitch. You know what I'm saying? He grew up with the, the, like, the two little motherfuckers. You know he what I'm saying? Killed Trey. <laughs> Trey, ah, he could have. I wouldn't want to see we Trey We needed to swing, either. though. We needed to swing. Kill, killed. 
You could have just killed Doughboy and we would have got the same. We wanted to stay if Doughboy got out, you know what I'm saying? Because we would have well, we, we would have got the same message they was trying to give us. Yes. You did not have to kill Ricky. John Ricky. Singleton, God bless the dead. You like that, that shit would not ever sit right with me. Ricky did not have to die Why, did Ricky up? to give us the message. What about the that crack was trying to give us? What about the lady that with the kids? I don't want the lady with the kids to die, but she was bad with the kids. It was on this fucking We street. got it. <laughs> Dude was paralyzed. We understood that. Yes. You what if he, what he couldn't get away and he got shot? That's right. Because he was slow. Doughboy could have died. God He's in the streets damn, crazy man. shooting and shit. Like, shoot, shoot Ricky in the leg or something, but still let him have a career. <sighs> Let'd be a lawyer later. Matter of fact, him and the father got together and is, is putting more signs up and shit. That shit hurt my heart, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. It. Yeah, I don't like that. So that's what I would have changed. I ain't going to lie to you. No, that's Them two right there. Like I don't like that. That shit bothers me to this day. Ricky and Mufasa Damn, dying. man, what the fuck? That shit ain't had to happen, man. What else, Taylor? Give us Fox another answer. like a motherfucker. One said it, but I can't find it. Oh, okay. Uh, T.M. Chamakala, I guess. Uh, he wants to know, what do you not like about yourself? How are you fixing it? Um, Everything I didn't like about myself, I've been started fixing six years ago. And all my issues that I didn't like about myself were internal. You know what I mean? So that's what that's what me going to therapy was about. So the, all, all all my issues are internal issues, and those are the things that I'm constantly, constantly, constantly working on. And um, I'm getting good. I'm getting really good because I don't have a, a. I used to have a. I used to have a need to like. Ruin you. If I felt like you fucked me over. Still like that. I don't. I don't feel that no more. I don't have. I don't have the desire, and I, and I haven't had the desire in a long time. Even before therapy, I haven't had the desire in a long time because I always felt like success was always the best revenge. That's mm -hmm. what I like. I like seeing motherfuckers mad that we keep winning. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> That's what I like, especially people that pray and pray and pray on and your downfall, downfall and have so much things to say about you. Like I, I like that because I, I know that drives you crazy because the truth to the matter is I'm not sitting around talking about you the way you're talking about me. Guarantee I ain't thinking about it. I am not even thinking about it. Guarantee. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I love that. I love to see somebody spend countless amounts of time, minutes, hours, whatever it is, talking about what it is that I'm doing, I'm, or me and my team doing. You, you know say you, I mean? somebody that want, you want to get back at somebody? What, what was the question? Oh, um, I've, I want to fix, I, they say to come with age, uh, learn how to say no, you know what I'm saying? Boundaries. Uh, boundaries, I have to learn boundaries, and shouldn't give a fuck as much if I, after I say no. And then always going. come back, and I always come back. Where you at? I think you know it's because we got molested, bro. I do. I think it's because we got molested when we were young. I've been talking. I talked to my therapist about this, and I talked to Bishop T D Jakes about this. I really think that when you've been molested, when you've been young, you uh, you turn into like a people pleaser, and you compromise yourself to make other people feel better. Yeah, Especially man. for me, because I know I, when I got molested when I was eight. Um, the, the the when I when I stopped letting the woman do it. She started calling me ugly uh -huh. and saying I had a big nose and all this other stuff. You know like, what I mean? All right, come on. Yeah, so it was, being that I didn't want her calling me ugly and saying I had a big nose, it was like, okay, well, let, whatever. I'll let you do whatever you want to me. So I think that being that we were molested when we were young, both of us. It was like, it's like something I have to do. It's like I have to try to please this person, even though I know I don't even want when, to do Even it. when it's to your own detriment. Even when you don't want to do it. It's a lot right now. And even though I fucking know better, because I'm I'm going through it right now with myself. I know that I'm supposed to say no about something, but I'm just allowing it to happen, knowing I'm going to be pissed the fuck off and I'm going to be the one losing. I'm just letting it slide. Yeah. But I can't say nothing. Why can't yeah. I say nothing right now, man? No, man. And, and by the way, I, you know, I talk about being molested when I was uh, eight, but there's been other times in my life that I've felt those same feelings I felt when I was molested by, as, as an adult. And right now, I'm feeling like right I now. Was, I was compromising myself for the sake of other people. I you know, know I mean? better, and the whole thing is I know better. I'm just compromising myself for what reason, and I fucking know better, and I feel like if I put my foot down, somebody else feeling is going to get hurt. That's right. But I fucking know better, so shut the fuck up That's sometime. Right. I, can't, I can't keep letting you do me dirty. Just because it's gonna make me feel bad. 
which is wild. And people that are really manipulators will use that against they you. They go on, I'm getting it done to me right now. These motherfuckers will disrespect shot. you and then get mad at your reaction to the disrespect and then turn in, turn into the victim. And ma- you know I got, what I mean? And made me say sorry. Word is born. How? How you blame me because you disrespected me or you did and something you ain't had no business doing to me. I reacted and now I'm the bad guy. you're mad at me because uh, you, of your like, reaction. Oh, you hate me. You hate me. You're the bad guy. You've been one to do the this. Fuck? Nah, I only reacted because of this. I did not react. I would have been fucked you up. These people are crazy out here. Once again, we're relying on human behavior to keep each other safe and sane. And these motherfuckers yeah. will drive you crazy because they'll really have you thinking. Like You'll literally be having a conversation with a person. Confronting them about something they did to you, they'll start apologizing to you first, oh, and then right twenty minutes around. later, they blaming you for the bullshit that they did. And you say, like, yep. "What the hold the fuck up? How we get here?" Yep, they know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Before you know it, they they they, they be look, look and tell you look at the sky, and they be tying your shoestrings together and say a dog right there, and you fucking fall. The <laughs> word is wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? Oh, Tie my fucking shoestrings together, motherfucker. All right, it's time to go. It got dark. It All got, right. I mean, we start talking you. about molestation. <laughs> we start talking about Ricky and Mufasa dying. Like, it just got dark. It got I think that was on me. It got dark. Uh, listen, as always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.